Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is Fractions. These are Edexcel ITCSE exam questions. This is my second series. If you want more questions, check out my first series. Let's do it. First off, what you need to do is convert them into top heavy fractions. So we want to see how many thirds um, two and two thirds is. Well, in two holes, there are six thirds. Add two more makes eight. So what we're doing there is we're just doing three multiplied by two is six and then add on two is eight. Okay, let's do the same for the quarters over here. We've got three holes, which it contains four quarters each. So 12 quarters in total plus three is 15 quarters. Okay, next step is to um, make a common denominator. So three and four, the lowest common multiple is 12. So I need to convert these into fractions out of 12. So for the first one, I need to multiply the bottom by four to make 12, so I do the same to the top as well. And for the second one, I need to times the bottom by three, so I need to do the same to the top as well. Okay, four times eight is 32, and three times 15 is 45. And then to add two fractions, if the denominator is the same, we keep it the same, and we just add the numerators. So 32 plus 45 is 77, and that looks very good. How many times does 12 go into 77? Well, if you're not sure, you can always just use your calculator. You could do 77 divided by 12, and then press this button here, this uh, S to D button. You get six times. So six times, and what is the remainder? Well, if you do six times 12, that gives you 72. So to get to 77, I need an extra five. So it's remainder five. And that looks good because it is exactly the answer which they've given you, and you've shown every step, so you've got full marks. Lovely. Okay, next question, similar deal. Because we're subtracting, it's exactly the same as addition. You need to first off do 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, so there are 16 thirds there. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 6 is 20, so there are 20 sevenths there, and there's a subtraction sign in between. Right, what's the lowest common denominator? Well, 3 and 7 is 21, so we write 21 and 21. What have I got to times this one by? Well, 7, and I've got to times this one by 3. Okay, seven times 16 is 70 plus 42, which is 112, and 20 times three is 60. Okay, next, um, we keep the denominator the same and we subtract. So 112 minus 60 is 52. And I can see clearly that we're gonna get two lots of 21 will fit into, four, uh, into 52 and the remainder will be 10, because two lots of 21 is 42, so there needs 10 more to make it up to 52. And that is the correct answer. All working shown, full marks, Bosch. Okay, next we, are, we have multiplying uh, fractions, and same thing, we need to convert it into top heavy, so I'm gonna do five times three is 15, plus one is 16, so that's 16 out of five. And six times one is six, plus five is 11, so that's 11 out of six. And then I'm gonna look for some common factors. So something that divides the top and the bottom. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, a cross or one on top of the other, but here we can see this can be divided by two, and this can be divided by two. So that's gonna help out my multiplying. And now we just do top times top, which is 88, and bottom times bottom, which is 15. And how many 15s go into 88? Well, that will be five, because five times 15 is 75. And then to make up 88 from 75, I need 13. So 13 remainder, so 13 fifteenths. And that is the same as that, so that means we are good to go. Okay, next question, that is a division. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna find the, um, the top heavy fraction, which is going to be seven times two is uh, 14, plus four is 18. 
and 1 times 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9 and this is a division now what we have to remember when dividing fractions is KFC keep which means keep the first one the same uh, flip which means flip the second one over and change which means change the sign to a multiplication I'm going to look for those common factors again and I can see that uh, 18 and 9 are both divisible by 9 so that leaves me with 2 and that leaves me with 1 when I divide through by 9 so now I can multiply the top and top to make 16 and the bottom and the bottom to make 7 so 16 over 7 well how many 7's going to 16 that is 2 makes 14 so I need 2 more to make it up to 16 so that is um, 2 and 2 sevenths once again, I never look at the, the answer until right at the end, and I just use that as a checking mechanism to make sure I've got it right, which I have. Yay! And here we have another division. So same thing. We're going to do 4 times 6 is 24, plus 3 is 27, so that's 27 over 4. We're going to do 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 is 18, so that's 18 over 7. Then we're going to keep this one the same, we're going to flip this one over and we're going to change it into a multiplication. Okay, uh, let's look for some common factors. Well, uh, 27 and 18 both divisible by 9, so 3 times and 2 times. And then we've got 3 times 7, which is 21, and we've got 4 times 2, which is 8. How many 8s go into 21? Well, 2 makes 16, and 16 needs 5 more to make it up to 21. So that is 2 and 5 eighths. Quick check over here. We got the same. We're good to go. Bosh. Okay, last question is a bit tricky. A little bit of problem solving needed here. We've got three rectangles. And what we know is that 5 eighths of rectangle A is shaded. So that's 5 eighths. And 80% of rectangle C is shaded. Okay, so when the question asked me, what is this amount here shaded in B? So give this one a go if you haven't already. And here is the solution. Well, what we're going to need to do is first figure out what's missing in each one. So if there's five apes over here, that means there's three apes unshaded. And this one is 80%. I'm going to write it as a fraction because, well, this is a fraction question. Uh, so that's four fifths is 80% which means that one-fifth is missing over here. Okay, so let's look at these missing sections. Well, this must also be uh, one-fifth, and this must also be three-eighths because they're the same rectangles. So let's add together one-fifth and three-eighths. Um, we want a common denominator of 40. And we're going to multiply the first one by 8, so 8 times 1 is 8, and the second one by 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. And we add the two tops together to get 23 out of 40. So that's the red section, 23 out of 40, which is all of this and all of this. And what do we want? We want the shaded section, which is what's missing, so that is 1 minus... 23 over 40, which is 17 over 40. That's what's left over. That's what's missing. And that is job done. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, you can watch the other series on fractions or just go on to the next topic. Bye for now.